y'all, I'm Amber, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a book review on HHHH by this author, which I will say I'll be for now because I feel like I've been butchering his name, and I don't want to do that anymore. So, he's French, and this book was translated from French to English, and this is about the assassination of Heydrich and how it all came about. If you do not know who Heydrich was, he was the right-hand man of Himmler, who... And Himmler was the man who was basically in charge of the SS. I have been trying to film this all day yesterday and the and night before. And it just wasn't working out for me. I kept bumbling around. So this will be the last one. Whatever this is, it is what it is kind of a thing. So bear that in mind. This book was just so wonderfully written. I absolutely love the his writing style, it's so strong and and he knows how to suck you in to what he wants to say and the story of these two men who are to assassinate Heydrich and the lead up to it, the reasoning and how it all became about. He just did such a great job in bringing it back to life. I found this book just so fascinating and so powerful and a book that I feel everybody should read. I did not know anything about Heydrich. I may have heard him in passing when reading other books dealing with World War II, but I never really learned anything about him before and I did not know anything about the assassination or what Heydrich did for Hitler. Or anything of that sort so it was just really new and I feel like this book is just so different than anything I've read before because not only is he telling the story but he's there talking about the process of him trying to tell this story in the right way and he brings up a subject matter that I've always had in my mind when it came to books that fictionalize real events are real people and are real people and when it came to books that did that, I actively avoid those books. I tried reading one or two that do this, and I ended up not being able to trust the author because you're messing around with these people's lives. You're messing around with who they are and their identity, and I don't feel like I can trust that. You could have possibly researched it enough, but how am I supposed to know that you did? How am I supposed to know that this is as accurate as you possibly can and that your your narrative is you know invented but that you try to stay as close to what you learn from that per from the papers and etc that you may have found i don't know and so i never could really trust it and i've always felt wrong reading a book that's been that's fictionalizing events or people <coughs> that happened or, or were real so in picking this up, I did not know this was actually a fictionalized account, but the reality is I don't consider this fiction. I say that it is more nonfiction than fiction. He does do some narrative scenes, but he always he's always there and he's always giving you the facts. Even when he does those scenes afterwards, he'll, a lot of the times, kind of tear those scenes apart. He'll be there giving you the the effects that maybe when he wrote that scene he didn't know about and he's always talking he's always there he's a, an active part of the story himself and i just loved hearing him talking about how films and other books can change the people that are part of the story specifically hydric because there's a lot of films that take on hydric but they always seem to have some inaccuracies when it comes to his identity and he goes about that and he talks about it and it's the first time i've heard an author act actively talk about how fictionalizing people and events can actually lead into something negative more than positive well at the same time he felt that he couldn't exactly avoid that because there's just some things that you're not going to know and in inventing these scenes as he calls it it helps to kind of understand certain things and so I grew to respect this author as I was reading this book because he was completely honest about what he was trying to do 
and I could tell that he was passionate about his subject, that he really wanted to honor the honor these two men who sacrificed their lives in order to kill Heydrich. And they thought they were doing something that was very important and vital in the turning of the war. I would love to read a lot more about Heydrich and the events around the assassination and the effect on the war that the assassination had because he doesn't go into too much detail about that. He just goes up to the assassination and a little bit afterwards, specifically about what happens to them after they attempt the assassination. So I'm very fascinated by that and he definitely has made me want to learn more about this subject. Also, he talks, when it comes to the events beforehand, leading up to his assassination, he talks about, I think it's Baba Yar or Bobby Yar, pretty sure it's Bob, Bobby Yar, and what happened there and how, this is not like, the, it's not the first time, and it certainly wasn't the first time that they've done mass murder, and certainly wasn't the last, but for some reason when he talked about that scene, it just really got to me. And I think it was just because he did such a great job in making it real. And then to realize, like, this is just one of so many other stories that could be told. It's just really sickening to think of. I was watching a review of another book and something they said made me really think because we should be uncomfortable when it comes to this. We need to be uncomfortable. We need to read about our history. We need to learn from our history because our history impacts our future. And if we do not learn from our history, we're just going to make the same mistake over again. We cannot avoid our history because it makes us uncomfortable. No matter how uncomfortable it makes you, it's important that we read about it, that we learn from it, that we remember these people who did an important thing for the future of their people and of the world on the whole. I mean, who knows what would have happened if Heydrich hadn't been murdered? How many more atrocities would have happened that would have been per perpetuated by him? Triple folded because he was one of the main people who had the idea of basically the gas chambers. He, he started that idea. And I mean, who knows? He was very motivated and ambitious when they came to climbing the ladder. Who knows how much worse he could have gotten. And I just think that it's so very important to remember and to learn from our history. So that we don't make the same mistakes that we will learn from the size the size centers who weren't willing to do anything who saw what was happening and didn't take a stand i mean some of them couldn't take a stand but there you know we all have a choice to make and i think that from learning from our history the only thing that can happen from learning is good that we will be different that we can be better in our history you know so i just find it so important and what that person said in that review did bother me because i don't think that we should avoid being un uncomfortable to you know because when you avoid that we don't learn if we we can't turn a blind eye to our history it's unhelpful it's a detriment to our future and it makes me quite upset when somebody says, don't read something if it makes you uncomfortable, specifically when it comes to reading something that's nonfiction and it's about our history and we all need to learn from that. We should be uncomfortable. We need to get uncomfortable when it comes to that because if we don't have the ability to feel uncomfortable, if we turn a blind eye to it, we're never going to learn. <laughs> okay, I am done with that rant, but absolutely loved this book. I think this is going to be my number one favorite of the year and I highly highly recommend reading this if you have not so done so. It's worth the money, worth the time spent and yes really really recommend this. I'm actually filming this on 
Saturday instead of Friday because I've been struggling to film this for so long, as I've already mentioned. So I will try to get this uploaded today. I don't know wh how what's going to happen because I'm going to be going to church today and my whole day is pretty much filled up. And so either it will be up today or tomorrow. We'll see. And hopefully this won't happen again. I just really wanted to get this right and I thought I would have, but it just kept escaping me, if you say this the right way. So I would love to chat with you down below about this book, about what you thought, think about history, because I find it so important to our future. And yeah, I would just love, have, love to have a chat with you all. Thank you all so much for watching and keep smiling.